Here we face my name. I represent to you. I am a federal constituency. I am from Anambra State. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second to support the motion ably moved by Honorable Tope. Mr. Speaker, the incident under discussion happened and is still subsisting in my own state, Anambra. Mr. Speaker, it is not only worrisome, it's not only abhorrible, it's not only condemnable, but a threat to the symbol of democracy. Mr. Speaker, what distinguished a military regime and a democracy is the institution of legislation. And in this case, under discussion, the House of Assembly of a State. Mr. Speaker, a democracy is governed in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution. And in a constitutional state, the dictates of the Constitution must be adhered to strictly. In the present case, constitutionally, members of any legislative arm of government decide who will be their speaker or their leader. We have witnessed in the past instances where the executive usurp through executive recklessness, rascality, or sabotage to constitutional provisions to impose on the people who will be their speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is nothing warranting or leading to this police under executive fears or directive to seal off the legislative arm of government in Anambra State. Members of the State House of Assembly who in their own wisdom, decided to exercise their constitutional powers on determining who is their speaker or who will continue as their speaker, decided to impeach the speaker of the State House of Assembly with the constitutional number. Anambra, I was in the State House of Assembly for eight years. Anambra has 30 member House of Assembly. So when you have 22 members sitting present and voting that their speaker should be impeached and removed, it behooves the state government, if they want to operate or seek any approval constitutional from the state of assembly, to know that leadership has changed in the state assembly. It does not in any way warrant the executive because they are in charge or in control of the police to direct that the State House of Assembly, this, this is a threat to democracy. Whether we want to believe that or not, Mr. Speaker, it is condemnable, and I support the motion. I so support.